Apocalypse Gaming. Yeah, guys, I'm getting famous. I'm now featuring David Tennant on my channel. This is a paper stock TARDIS interior. My heart goes out to you, Mr. Malvictus, because I hadn't realised how hard it is to build paper stock cardstock models. This was a freaking nightmare. Um, it's possibly the hardest kit. I've ever bloody built. Um, plastic and resin or whatever type of kits you do are so much easier than this baby. Um, pleased with the results, it's for my son. Um, it was one of his so we helped build it together. Um, I had to do a lot of it because the level of building was actually quite difficult. Um, surprisingly difficult. So it's actually quite a big beastie as well because I shall put something on here to give you an idea of size. Um, there we go. There's the side of a rhino. So it's a bit of a beastie. So storage wise we don't have much room so it's going to go on the ceiling. Um, at the back of this video I shall put down a photocopy of each of the instructions to give you an idea of the stages we went through. I didn't bother filming the stages we went through because it was too bloody frustrating. Um, and all you'd have had was me cursing and swearing about how difficult it was if I'd done that. My son's nodding. I'm throwing your hands up in the air to throw your tools out of the pram. So, that's the real Mithril now feeling she has to get her nebs in. So, hope you like it. Give us your feedback, give us your comments. Um, it's a hell of a lot more frustrating than I expected it to be. You can actually turn the wheel here and it'll make the internals of the mechanism go up supposedly, but it seems to only go up and never come back down. So that's either a mistake in my build, most likely, or just the difficulty of the model. This bit here as well spins the console just like as in actual Doctor Who. So, take care guys, have a good one.